Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today I'm doing a review and a wear test of the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. So I did receive the product as PR from Urban Decay but my thoughts and this review is going to be my honest opinion. I really like that it's a sturdy box so you can actually reuse this for storage and this is what the box looks like. So oops! So I received the face bond foundation I also received a full size of the all-nighter setting spray which I'm so excited about and they also included a pair of hair clips so this is the foundation my first impression is that it's actually quite small and thin I'm hoping that a little goes a long way because for the pricing of this and the size it's a little bit steep it says it's a waterproof foundation up to 24 hour wear it has 3% niacinamide and it's a can't feel coverage it also says that it's a set self setting foundation so I won't be needing any powder to go on top of this I do have combination to oily skin so I am excited to not have to use powder for this I do like a glowy finish so I'm hoping that some glow can still come through it and it's not a matte foundation I received the shade 22 medium neutral and I'm hoping that it's is a good match for me now let's see how it blends with my fingers hmm I think it's gonna be a good match it's on my hand it looks kind of like a seamless match but we will see what it actually looks on my face once I put it on one thing I'm gonna say is that I'm kind of worried that it has niacinamide in it even though it's a good ingredient to have and it has a lot of skincare benefits I am kind of sensitive to it. I've noticed that every time I use a product with niacinamide, I tend to break out. If I use it once, it's okay, but it's something that I can't really use every single day. Okay, so I just applied it to this half of my face. And I used the velvet sponge for this, just because I find that they don't absorb as much makeup as the regular sponge. And I think it looks really good. I don't know if the shade is my perfect match. Maybe I need something a little bit more cool, but so far it looks really good. It applied nicely, it blended really nicely, and yeah, I think it looks really nice. It doesn't look super matte, which I really like. I just applied it to my face. Sorry, I can't really see what I'm doing now, but I just kind of like went around my face and applied it. Maybe that's a bit too much. And yeah, it just blended nicely with the sponge. Okay, so this is the foundation. I did notice some minimal peeling. I just noticed that I have some on this side as well, like around my ear, and then here was around my jaw that started, but that can definitely just be my cream and sunscreen combo. I have to keep in mind that I shouldn't be using those together when I'm gonna be wearing this foundation on. It's the only thing that I've noticed, but other than that, I do like how it looks. The foundation is supposed to cover some hyperpigmentation, it's good for acne prone skin, uh, it covers under eye circles, sorry I'm just reading the little card, and it's supposed to also cover cover some texture. I would say it's um, a medium coverage because I can still see some of my scars coming through but honestly that's kind of like the coverage that I personally like. If you like a fuller coverage this might not be your foundation. I don't have prominent dark circles or any red spots right now so I can't really tell about hyperpigmentation of dark circles but as far as covering acne scars I would say it's a medium coverage. And since it says it's a self setting foundation I won't be using any setting powder on top of this I'm hoping that it will be fine I like I said I have a combo to oily skin type I am thinking of using a setting mist I might only do like half of my face and then see if it makes a difference if, like which one works better than the other I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup like I usually do and then I think I'm going to do two four and six hour wear wear test maybe eight we'll see how long i wear the foundation for but i really want to put it to the test and see how it actually wears because it's supposed to be a 24 hour wear time but i don't know i usually think that that's just a mar marketing tactic honestly nobody should be wearing foundation for 24 hours but yeah 24 hours i think it's a little bit exaggerated okay guys i am back with my full face of makeup and I gotta say, I do really like the finish. Oh, um, this side of my face has setting spray and this one doesn't. 
I think this one looks a little bit more matte, like the finish looks just uh, more blended I guess. But honestly this side looks pretty good as well, I really liked both sides. I do want to put the foundation to the test just now because it says that it is transfer resistant, so we're gonna see. This side has the setting spray like I said, so it might be better. Okay, no foundation, and then this is the side that has no setting spray and oh again nothing really like that's actually pretty good i do like that it doesn't look overly matte it has a little bit of glow to it which i really like it says it's waterproof and sweat proof but it's not super hot in here so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to put the sweat proof uh to the test i'm hoping that it'll be a nice one for the summer especially because the shade is a little bit dark for me like i don't know if you can tell but I think it will be a better match in the summertime, so that would be really nice to have a waterproof and sweatproof foundation for that time of the year. But yes, I'm going to do a two-hour checkup in two hours, and yes, we'll see how it wears. Okay guys, I am back after two hours, and this is what the foundation is looking like. I think it's looking really nice. Um, the only thing is that I think the side with the setting mist is looking just a little bit dewier. Barely noticeable. I think it's just me that notices that. Like I don't think people would notice that from close or far away. Another thing is that I feel like the side that has the setting mist, I feel like my fine lines around my eyes are a little bit more noticeable than on this side. So that, you know, that's something to keep in mind. I don't think it's like super crazy or anything, but I just think it's a little bit more noticeable. And I have to say, it's wearing really nicely around my nose. I have issues with foundations and how they wear around my nose usually. Like they wear off either like within the, the first hour or two hours. And I know it's only been two hours, so it might wear off like the next couple of hours, but so far it's looking really nice like it's promising it's not it's not a deal breaker for me when it comes to foundations wearing off on my nose i just don't think it's a big deal but it's nice that this one is actually wearing nicely on my nose so i'll see you guys in a couple more hours okay it's been four hours now and i think both sides are looking really similar similar now like this is the side that has the setting mist and no setting mist and I think they look the same now like the glow that I was saying that it's a little bit just more dewy on this side now it looks I think it looks the same now I can't really tell any difference again it's wearing nicely and like I said my nose still looks really good I don't find that it's breaking down anywhere like I think my face looks nice still on both sides I'm really liking the soft glow that is coming through the skin now because you know it's been four hours so my natural glow my natural oils are starting to come out and I do like how it looks. I forgot to mention earlier that I'm not wearing any concealer because I wanted to really test how it were because um, otherwise I would have covered up my like my acne scars and sometimes I wear concealer under my eyes but not very often so just so you know, I'm not wearing anything under my eyes, that's just the foundation. I think I'm going to do one more update for the 6 hour. I'm going to try to push it to maybe 7 hours to have like a in-between checkup because it's getting pretty dark out there and I don't think you're going to be able to really see it without a more natural lighting. I'm going to have to use artificial lighting and I don't think it looks as good with artificial lighting. Like I don't think you can tell like what it looks like on my skin. but. Yeah, so far I really like it. As I am back, it's been seven hours and this is what the foundation is looking like. So it looks quite glowy, borderline oily I think. So at this point I would have already set it with powder. But because I wanted to see what it would actually wear like, I didn't touch it up any like I didn't touch it up at all. Overall, I do really like the foundation. Like I said, it works so nicely on my nose. I don't have any fading around my jaw or anything that I can tell and I think it went pretty nicely around my eye area. The fine lines will always kind of come through like after a few hours but I don't mind, that's just skin. And yeah, I think overall I really like the I really like the foundation. Would I recommend this foundation? I honestly really like how it looks on the skin. And I mean, if you have the money and you want to really try it, I think it's really worth a try. 
I honestly love how it looks on the skin, but I wouldn't say this is like any revolutionary foundation. Like this is not the best foundation I've ever tried. You have to run to Sephora and get it kind of thing. Like it's really nice, but I think I have, you know, foundations that were close to this or quite similar to this from the drugstore that are cheaper and I like them just as much. Also because it has 3% niacinamide I wouldn't purchase this because right now it looks fine on my skin it looks beautiful but now I have to wait to tomorrow and see if it breaks me out and I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow as well just to give it a little bit more of a try like a test and if it, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna break me out because it happens every time I use niacinamide. Any serums or any products with it always tend to break me out. I would be okay with wearing this once in a while and believe me, I am gonna wear this foundation. I'm gonna use it up. It's actually really nice on the skin, but it's not something that I would tell you like, you have to get this. I do really appreciate that it works so nicely on my nose especially because I feel like I very, very rarely ever have foundations that wear nicely on my nose. But honestly for me it's not such a big deal like maybe if I went if I were going to an event or something like that I, that would be important. I don't really go to events very much so I don't know but like for and for every day I don't really mind that it wears off on my nose a little bit. It's not something that I worry about. If you have combo skin and it's something that really bothers you, I would recommend it because it works so nicely. Guys, it's a new day of today and I'm wearing the same foundation again. I am also wearing the same eye makeup look because I was supposed to do a tutorial of it and I just didn't have time to do it in the morning so I just redid the same makeup look. Just a little side note, I did read some reviews yesterday and it kind of seems like people with dry skin are having issue with this foundation. Urban Decay has replied saying to really prep the skin and it, like apply some extra moisturizer or just something that is super hydrating for the skin before you go on with this foundation. I have combo skin so I didn't have any issues with it and today I am wearing powder on top of the foundation because I really wanted to see how it would wear and honestly it looks nice still. Like Again, I don't think this foundation is anything revolutionary or new to the market. It's really nice that it has some skincare benefits and that it claims to be sweat proof and waterproof but if you have dry skin just keep in mind that you have to take extra steps to really hydrate your skin and get it ready to use this foundation. That's it guys, that was my review and my wear test of the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. Let me know in the comments if you would try this one or if you've had the chance to try it yet. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.